Welcome to the Learning Corner. Take a moment to hit the subscribe button for more enlightening content. Don't forget to engage in the comments section and share with others. Remember, knowledge is power, and it's meant to be shared. As we step into the topic of the day, stress, you might be wondering, what causes stress? Well, you're not alone. Stress is a universal human experience, a complex cocktail of thoughts and perceptions stirred up in response to our environment. Let's take a moment to comprehend what it is before we explore what triggers it. Stress, from a psychological perspective, is a feeling that's created when we react to certain events. It's the body's way of rising to a challenge, preparing to face a tough situation with focus, strength, stamina, and heightened alertness. Now, you might be asking, isn't stress detrimental to our health? Interestingly, the answer is, not exactly. Stress is not inherently harmful. It's a normal part of life and can sometimes even be beneficial. To better understand this, imagine yourself in the wilderness, face to face with a predator. Your heart races, your muscles tense, and your senses sharpen, all thanks to stress. This reaction is known as the fight or flight response, a survival mechanism that prepares your body to either confront or escape from danger. So, in such circumstances, stress can indeed be life-saving. However, in our contemporary lives, we're not often chased by predators. Instead, our stressors are more psychological than physical. For instance, work deadlines or financial worries. When these stressors persist over time, our bodies remain in a heightened state of stress, which can lead to health issues like heart disease and mental disorders. But don't stress, we'll dig deeper into this in the subsequent sections. The essential message here is that stress is an integral part of life. It's a biological response that has enabled us to survive and evolve. The real challenge, however, is managing it effectively in a world where our stress triggers are more mental than physical. So, buckle up as we delve deeper into what exactly causes stress. Stress doesn't appear out of thin air. It has a cause and sometimes multiple causes. Understanding the roots of this common yet often misunderstood condition is a vital step in managing it effectively. Let's start with external factors. Work, for instance, can be a major source of stress. Deadlines, high expectations, and challenging relationships with colleagues or superiors can generate a constant stream of stress. Then there are personal relationships. Conflicts with loved ones, divorce, or the death of a close friend or family member can weigh heavily on our minds. Financial problems too are a significant stressor. The worry of not having enough to make ends meet, or the pressure of dealing with debt, can cause sleepless nights and anxious days. But stress isn't always caused by what's happening on the outside. Internal factors can play a significant role too. Chronic illnesses, for example, can bring a daily dose of stress. The physical discomfort, the constant medical appointments, and the emotional turmoil of dealing with a long-term health issue can be incredibly taxing. Mental health disorders such as depression, anxiety, or post-traumatic stress disorder are also closely linked with stress. They can create a cycle where stress exacerbates the symptoms of the disorder, which in turn increases stress levels. Finally, let's not forget the role of negative self-talk. We can be our own worst critics at times and this internal dialogue can be a potent stressor. If we're constantly telling ourselves we're not good enough or that we're bound to fail, it's no surprise that stress levels can skyrocket. Each of these causes is backed by a wealth of scientific research. Studies have shown time and again how these factors, both external and internal, contribute to the stress we experience. Now that we understand the causes of stress, it's crucial to recognize when stress might be affecting us. So stay tuned as we delve into the signs and symptoms of stress in our next segment. Stress can manifest in many ways, some more obvious than others. Let's dive into the science of it. When we're stressed, our bodies produce hormones like adrenaline and cortisol. These are part of our fight or flight response, which is designed to help us respond to threats. But when this response is triggered too often or for too long, it can lead to physical symptoms. One of the most common physical signs of stress is headaches. According to the Mayo Clinic, stress can trigger both tension-type headaches and migraines. If you've been getting more headaches than usual, stress may be the culprit. Other physical symptoms can include fatigue, upset stomach, and chest pain. Stress can also affect our emotional well-being. You might find yourself feeling irritable, anxious, or depressed. You may have trouble focusing, making decisions, or remembering things. These are all signs that your brain is working overtime to manage stress. And then there are the behavioral signs. Stress can lead to changes in eating habits. Some people eat more when they're stressed, while others lose their appetite. You might also find yourself sleeping too much or too little, procrastinating or using alcohol or drugs to cope. 
These symptoms can be easy to overlook or explain away. After all, everyone has a bad day now and then. But if you're experiencing several of these signs, especially for an extended period, it's likely that stress is playing a role. The American Psychological Association explains that these symptoms are our body's way of signaling that something is off balance. It's like the check engine light in your car. It's not telling you exactly what's wrong, but it's letting you know that something needs attention. And just like with your car, ignoring these signs can lead to bigger problems down the road. Chronic stress can contribute to serious health issues like heart disease, high blood pressure, and diabetes. It can also affect your mental health, leading to conditions like anxiety and depression. Recognizing these signs is the first step in managing stress. But how do we reduce it? Reducing stress isn't just about feeling better. It's about improving our overall health and well-being. Let's take a closer look at some key stress reduction strategies. Exercise, mindfulness, and therapy. These aren't random choices, but a culmination of scientific research and psychological understanding. Exercise, for example, is an excellent stress buster. When we exercise, our bodies release chemicals called endorphins. These are our natural mood lifters. They interact with the receptors in our brains, reducing the perception of pain and triggering a positive feeling in the body, similar to that of morphine. Regular exercise has been proven to reduce stress, anxiety, and feelings of depression. It doesn't just make us feel better in the moment, but it also improves our overall well-being in the long run. Next, we have mindfulness. This is the practice of focusing our attention on the present moment, accepting it without judgment. Studies have shown that mindfulness changes the structure of our brains, increasing the density of gray matter in areas associated with learning, memory, and emotion regulation. By practicing mindfulness, we become better equipped to handle stress, reducing its impact on our physical and mental health. Therapy, particularly cognitive behavioral therapy, is another effective stress reduction strategy. This form of therapy helps us understand our thought patterns, recognize our stress triggers, and develop coping strategies. It equips us with the tools to deal with stress effectively. Research shows that cognitive behavioral therapy can actually rewire our brains, making us more resilient to stress in the future. These strategies work because they engage both our minds and bodies, helping us to manage stress on multiple fronts. They're not just quick fixes but long-term solutions that help us build resilience and improve our overall well-being. They affect our brains, change our bodily responses and enhance our capacity to cope with stress. Reducing stress might seem challenging, but with these strategies and understanding it's entirely possible. Stress is a complex and multifaceted issue, but understanding it is the first step towards managing it effectively. As we've discovered today, Stress is more than just a feeling of being overwhelmed. It's a physical and psychological response to perceived threats, both real and imagined. It's our body's way of gearing up to meet challenges, but when it becomes chronic, it can take a toll on our health and well-being. We've delved into the various causes of stress, which can range from significant life changes to daily hassles. It's essential to understand that what may be stressful for one person may not be for another as our perceptions and coping mechanisms vary greatly. The signs of stress are just as diverse as its causes. They can manifest physically, emotionally, and behaviorally. From headaches and sleep problems to irritability and lack of focus, recognizing these signs is crucial in managing stress effectively. We've also discussed various scientifically-backed strategies to reduce stress, such as regular physical activity, maintaining a balanced diet, getting adequate sleep, and practicing mindfulness. These strategies work by either reducing the body's stress response or enhancing our capacity to cope with stressors. Yet it's important to note that there's no one-size-fits-all solution. What works best for you depends on your lifestyle, your personal preferences, and the nature of the stressors you're dealing with. It's a journey, and it takes time, patience, and a willingness to experiment and learn. Understanding stress, its causes, signs, and solutions isn't just about knowledge. It's about empowering ourselves to take control of our lives, to make changes for the better, and to promote our overall health and well-being. Remember, stress is a part of life, but it doesn't have to control it. Take charge and make the changes necessary to live a healthier, happier life.